Hello, I'm John Pinto, and I'm presenting Dominique Prunet's Celestial Navigation course. And uh, today's episode, we're going to talk about the sextant and some of the adjustments you have to do to the readings uh, so that your uh, angle is as accurate as possible. This presentation follows along with um, Dominique's book, Celestial Navigation. And you can find out more about uh, Dominique's books at marinenavigationbooks.com. And there you'll also find uh, uh, resources, uh, including a downloadable um, slide deck that uh, we're following along with this presentation. So one of the first um, adjustments you have to make to your uh, sextant reading is called index error. And basically that has to do with the uh, sextant not being 100% perfectly aligned uh, with its mirrors. Uh, you, you know, hopefully you, they are, but if they're not, th there's a simple way to take care of that. Uh, what you do is you uh, sight your sextant on the horizon and you put the horizon in the, the left side of uh, the, the horizon mirror. And on the right side, you put the, um, the horizon also on the on the mirror and you try to have those match up perfectly and if you do so and it comes out to you know exactly zero uh, then you have no index error and you're good to go but usually you'll be have you know a little bit of a uh, of of a, of a difference from zero so either when you go to read your sextant uh, it's going to have a an angle somewhere over here that's being called on the arc or you could be over here to the right side of zero, and that would be called off the arc. So what you do is you read whatever your sextant is telling you. In this case, it's looked like it's about one degree, almost two degrees, but let's say one degree. And then when you read your drum scale over here, you see that it lines up with, whoops, lines up with 59 degree, 59 minutes, sorry. So it's one degree, 59 minutes, and I don't see any vernier, uh, adjustment. So it looks like it's exactly one degree, 59 minutes. And it's on the arc. Now, why is that important? Because depending on whether the angle is on the arc, the index error is on the arc or off the arc, will tell you whether you should be adding or subtracting that index error uh, off of your sextant reading. So the way it's remembered, if it's on the arc, you take it off. If it's off the arc, you put it on. So in this case, it's on the arc of one degree, 59 minutes. So you will be subtracting that angle from your sextant reading. And here's an exercise for you to um, do on your own. Um, some examples. Now, this is where I would suggest you either purchase um, Dominique's exercise book, which goes along with this course, or you can download it. There's a free PDF download if you so desire. and you can work this problem in that exercise book. And then uh, at the back of the book, you'll have the uh, answers that you could check your, your, your cell phone. And you will see that as we go through the course, there'll be many, many, many of these exercises uh, to be done. And, um, and the answers um, are also in the book itself. Okay, so the next uh, adjustment you have to make to your sextant reading is called dip. And that correction is because your eye is not exactly at sea level. You're, you know, a few feet above sea level. Um, as you can see here in this little chart, um, you know, if you're right on, right, you know, you're, you're, you have a periscope, right? And you're right at sea level, there will be no dip correction. But, you know, you just go up a few feet and all of a sudden you've got some good number of minutes of angle to remove from your from your sextant reading. So here's what you'd have to be doing to have no dip correction, which I don't think any of us are going to be you know, using this uh, in a submarine on a periscope. So more realistically, we'll be somewhere, you know, a few feet above the uh, horizon. And what this, what you read with the sextant is this angle, which goes from what you see is your horizon up to the celestial body, which will be up here somewhere. And what we're trying to do is to bring that uh, angle back to uh, from the body to what's called the rational horizon, which is basically level 
uh, with your with uh, with your location. And the dip basically corrects this extra bit of angle that's in your sextant reading, so that you're just left with um, with this reading here. And this is what the table looks like in the uh, Nautical Almanac. And uh, this is usually on a nice little card that comes with your almanac that you can stick in the almanac as a bookmark. And the dip corrections will be over here on the right-hand side. So it kind of looks like this. So you basically either find your meters or your feet, you know, where you are. And typically you'll be in between two numbers here. And this will be the correction that you'll subtract off of your sextant reading. Now, if for some reason you are at exactly a particular um, height of I, um, you always take the number that's above it, okay? And one way you can take a look at that um, is if you look over here, if you forget that, look at your meter table. If you were three meters above the, uh, oops, sorry, keep hitting that. If you're three meters uh, above, the, above the C, you'll see that the correction is uh, three minutes of angle. Now, if you look at this table here, three minutes, three meters is three minutes. That's how you can remember to use, if you're exactly at a number, to use the correction that's just above it. Okay. And again, we have got more uh, exercises for you to try uh, in Dominique's exercise book, uh, along with the answers. And that's it for this episode. Next episode, we get into the last bunch of uh, sextant corrections uh, that we'll talk about um, in episode number nine. So I hope you come back for that and uh, we will see you soon.